Hi, good evening, everyone. Today we will go ahead and discuss the Indian Eco part of uh, this uh, IIT entrance exam. The first question that we have is basically it can be considered as part of Indian economics, and it can also be considered as part of uh, you know your macroeconomics. I just wanted to kind of go ahead and tell you about all the deficits, so we will take this question. So it says. Which of the following indicates true fiscal position of the Indian economy? And you're given revenue deficit, capital deficit, current account deficit, and primary deficit. Let's read through all the different kind of deficits that exist in India. The first deficit that we have is called budget deficit. Now, what is the budget deficit? A budget deficit is basically total expenditure minus total receipt. When I say total expenditure, it includes all the expenditure. Revenue include karo, uh, <clears throat> capital include karo, all kind of expenditures together. Total expense of the government, that is called total expenditure. Similarly, total receipt means anything that comes to the government, whether it comes even through debt, even when the government borrows, money is coming in, right? So whenever money comes into the government, in any form, it is total receipt. It will be included in total receipt. So budget deficit, which is the first aspect, is total expenditure minus total receipt. The second one that you have is called revenue deficit. Now, what is revenue deficit? Revenue expenditure or revenue uh, receipts, they are not related to any asset or liability. So neither any asset is being created nor any asset is being reduced. Neither any liability is being created nor any liability is being reduced. Such are called Ex revenue expenditures or receipt. Just say, for example, when you pay salary to a government employee, it's my expenditure, but I am not creating an asset. But when I buy a building, then that's also my expenditure, but I am creating an asset. So when I say, you know, all these where no asset is being created, no liability is being changed. Just when I, when I go ahead and I increase my borrowing, this is capital in nature because you're creating a liability. But when you go ahead and you uh, maybe just collect money on toll bridge, no asset or liability is involved. So anything where no asset or liability is involved, such expenditures and receipts are revenue in nature. And that deals with revenue deficit. Fiscal deficit is same as budget. If you notice, it is very, very similar. Total expenditure minus total receipt. But we don't include borrowings. So all receipts of the government other than borrowing, if I am not including the borrowings of the government, then that is fiscal deficit in nature. Then if I go ahead and I look at the next one. Yeah. If I go ahead and I look at the next one, the next one is primary deficit. Primary deficit is fiscal deficit minus interest payment. So I am not even including the interest that I am paying on any kind of debt. That is my primary deficit. So which means that Mainly, this deficit is used for purpose other than paying interest on the borrowing. It, it in a way gives me the true uh, 
uh, way that my economy looks. It gives me a true picture of my economy. That's the primary deficit. So the next is effective revenue deficit. What is effective revenue deficit? It is revenue deficit. Jo upar pada, same revenue deficit, but minus the grants for creation of capital asset. जो ग्रांट इसलिए दिया गया है कि इससे एक कैपिटल एसेट क्रिएट होगा अभी हुआ नहीं है नो एसेट और लाइबिलिटी हैज बीन क्रिएटेड तो अभी के लिए आई कैन जस्ट थिंक दिस इज माय रेवेन्यू बट इट इज फॉर दैट पर्पस इट इज फॉर क्रिएटिंग एन एसेट नो एसेट हैज बीन क्रिएटेड येट बट दैट ग्रांट इज फॉर क्रिएशन ऑफ कैपिटल एसेट इफ आई सब्रैक्ट दैट आई विल गेट इफेक्टिव रेवेन्यू डेफिशिट राइट सो रेवेन्यू डेफिशिट minus the grant for creation of capital asset that becomes effective revenue deficit and finally we have something which is known as a monetized fiscal deficit what is monetized fiscal deficit the part of fiscal deficit which is covered by borrowing monetization kya hota hai monetization is printing of notes so i understand that uh, in a way it's seniorage right i have created my notes now that part of the deficit which i want to go ahead and i want to finance through these borrowings by borrowing money from the central bank by creating notes by monetizing the debt that is called monetized fiscal deficit so these are the main deficits that one must know these six deficits of course i will share these notes with you but just for now you should know these six deficits now on the basis of that we understand that the question is asking the true fiscal position 